Justin Clucky. I'm a uh, studio artist. Uh, <laughs> that's right. My name is Justin. I looked right at the camera when I said that. Let's it over. My name is Justin Clucky. I'm a studio artist. I work primarily in the jewelry and metalsmithing studio, and I am a lecturer here at Humboldt State University. I started off studying design and fell into and fell in love with uh, working with my hands. I specialize, I would say, mostly in jewelry. Uh, as an artist, I don't like to stop at just jewelry. If I want to make something, uh, if I want to make sculpture, uh, it may be made out of foam and duct tape. Uh, materiality is really important to me. That's why I'm in the jewelry studio, but I also don't think that it should be limited um, by, I, I don't want to limit myself, I guess, just by one, one media or medium. A student coming into the beginning jewelry class uh, really should just kind of be open to learning. There's a lot of, a lot of different techniques you'll find, a lot of weird tools when you first walk into the studio, things you don't know what they do or mean or how to use them. Um, and a lot of the processes are brand new. So uh, being detail oriented helps. Um, being really refined is something I use, I like in my work but I have students that come in that are a totally different style that I fall in love with the work because they look at metal in a totally different way than I do. Uh, well, the goal is to do some sort of neck, which, oh, cool. yeah, hopefully will turn out. I was hoping to crochet some wire, but I have no idea how to do that, so I may just... I really just sort of the, the openness and the openness to, to kind of being uncertain or afraid of the process, but also not too afraid to not jump in and, and work with it and kind of play. We are making containers uh, to hold a, an object. We're looking at maybe insignificant objects or objects that, they're not insignificant, their value is uh, subjective. The process that they're learning uh, primarily is the keyed seam process, uh, so they're making a specific seam that can withstand um, forming over a stake and with a uh, plastic or a delrin mallet and uh, they're taking taking these uh, containers into more unique and individual forms and then creating a lid as well for each one of them. You'll see students just get engulfed in, in a semester's time and bec become a maker and not just be here to, to take an art class and make an art credit. What makes a good metal artist? Uh, well it depends on the metal artist. Um, I think craftsman, a combination of craftsmanship and concept is a strong foundation. It's kind of a Venn diagram where things pull and tug across uh, different influences. I think a really great artist acknowledges both craftsmanship and their concept, tie them together uh, and make those balances not necessarily obvious but subtly obvious shouldn't reach out and bite you, but it should be a well-balanced piece, it should be a well-balanced maker.